We are back. Season 2, baby. For this season, we have got some spirits that are being sponsored from our uh, distributor uh, Octopus Group. And we would like to first thank Carcier for getting on board with us. We have first sponsor for this episode that we are going to be featuring the Tarsier Southeast Asian Gin. A little story about Tarsier Gin. Tarsier uh, was firstly inspired by these two guys who were backpacking around Southeast Asia and of course the basic inspiration is the Tarsier itself the creature that you see over here right cute little marsupial okay it's not an ape it's a marsupial so story goes that as they were traveling around Southeast Asia they were inspired by all these flavors of all the cuisines that they were having and thus they developed this beautiful concoction of a spirit over here Okay, it's got hints of melangal, peppers. It's got this sweet floral note as well. It's very exquisite, uh, unlike a lot of other gins. Of course, you can have like the little hints of like juniper. Okay, but it's a sweeter nosing. Eventually, we'll get on to tasting it in our cocktail. I've tasted it. I love it. Thus, we made this cocktail. A little story about our cocktail. This one you're gonna have today is a pure black dough original, and it was birthed from uh, one of our Shady Shakedowns. Yeah, that's the title of our new segment that we're gonna add on to the Black Door channel. Be sure to check that out as soon as it comes out. Let's begin. When we start a cocktail, of course, before getting anything done, man, we got to decide on our glassware. Be it a coupe, a wine glass, whatever goddamn thing you have at home. Okay, let's just use what we got. But of course, we are an experimental bar, physically. So, we got this. This is what we serve here. It's a nice ceramic ware. So, yeah, uh, there's a whole reason behind it. Once I finish the drink, I'll make sure to tell you guys. So, once you've decided glassware, put that aside, then we use a shaking vessel. If you don't have shaker tins at home, guys, don't fret. Grab whatever you got, a mason jar or a water tumbler, okay? As long as it's got a lid, if it's got a mouth, try to cover it, and then you shake I did not cover that right. Better have something with a lid, a closed lid. Tested and proven, this is fucked up. Now, let's get on to the spirit part of things. We're gonna do 30 mils of this baby right here, okay? So we're gonna pour 30 mils of Tarsier inside there, okay? Close that baby. I love the artwork, by the way, Tarsier. Great artwork, seriously. Followed by freshly squeezed lemon juice. We want to do 15 mils. Okay. And then you're going to throw in mango juice. Okay, we're going to do more of this. And that's about 20 mils. We pour that in. Okay. And then our own homemade fig shrub. Easy to create, nothing too complicated. It's sort of like simple syrup kind of a mixture, but using apple cider vinegar or any good vinegar you have at home, none of that artificial crap. We don't want it to get too vinegary and too sour and tangy. We want a balanced profile. So I'm gonna do 10 mils of this delicious, I would slurp that up. Now, put the measuring thing away. This is called a jigger. If you don't have one, use anything that has measuring indications on it. And then, I'm gonna use two slices of ginger with a nice thickness. If you want it to be more gingery, 
add in more. If you want to relax, pick one out. Throw it in. We are going to muddle a little bit. Okay, this is just to uh, release the flavors of the ginger into your mixture. And then before we add something else. So muddle, 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 muddle the shit out of the thing. Once you've done that, you want to add in some strawberry reserve. Also known as strawberry jam. If you can make it at home, make it. I didn't have time to do it, so I bought. Forgive me. Sorry, but not sorry. All you want to do is grab like a teaspoon or a ball spoon with a slight heat. Drop that in there. And then just kind of gently just mix it around a little bit. Just a little. Okay, not too much. For me, when I'm doing something like this, I want to release more flavor, so I like to do a double shake. I like to do a dry shake first and then add ice to it. You can add ice straight away if you're impatient. I'm a little picky like that, so don't mind me. I'm going to shake it first without ice. You can just do this for 8 seconds, it's fine. I can smell it already. Now! Ice. So y'all would have known me by now, those who have watched my previous videos, stop using the small ridiculous size ice cubes. Get some of a decent size. Bigger than this, stick with one. This kind of size, this is sweated out. Once that's done, close the lid. Make sure it's sealed, nothing's spilling. And then shake for 8 seconds. can stop once you feel it getting really really chilled out. Have that out there, bring out your glassware, ceramic wear, silverware, underwear, two strainers, a whole phone and a fine strainer. If you don't have both, you can just use a fine strainer. What is a fine strainer? It's the one you use for teas. If you have a sock, go for it. I enjoy it. Pour it nice and easy. A lot of juice. Let's not be lazy. Let's add a nice pinache to this thing. I think we should add a garnish that we have prepared with a dehydrated lime and ginger. I added uh, some ginger slices on it, like candied ginger if you have those. If not, you can just use raw ginger. It's okay, cut it up. You want to throw some sugar on it, you want to spice it up. That's up to you. You have fresh lime, go for it. Just try to make it look pretty. And gentlemen, I give to you. The monkey's knuckle. Yes. The reason why we call it a monkey's knuckle, because when you drink it, you gotta do this. Mm. Balance of slight spice coming out from the ginger. You have sweetness, nice tinge of tang, very well rounded drink. It's beautiful. People have tasted it, so they like it. I taste it, I like it. I mean, I made it, so. I guess we've come uh, pretty much to the end of the segment and I have to thank Octopus Group and Tarsier Spirits for making this happen. We are proud as hell, seriously, uh, to say sponsoring us and you know, watching us out, uh, having our backs. So Tarsier Spirits, great work guys, seriously love the stuff that you guys make. Now for those who have stayed till the end of this segment, you like this bottle, we got an offer for those who watch our show, we love you. So, as much as you love us. Check out the link below, right there. Hit that, you get down to Celebrations website. You can purchase this bottle using our code, TVD10. It's Thailand Bravo Delta 10, the black door. And you get a 10% off. So, for those of you who do not have this little marsupial spirit at home, get it. It, it belongs in every bar. Any real person who wants to explore great flavors. We want to thank you. This has been The Black Door. I'm Rajesh. We'll see you soon.